Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we have a, a fairly easy job. It's a, a 2003, it's a Honda Odyssey and we're just going to be changing the rear shocks on here. Now obviously you will have to have the wheel off the car to get in there to get to it so we do have the wheel off already. Um, we're going to take out the, the top and the bottom bolt. It is a little bit snug when you pull it out and you, you'll notice that the lower control arm drops a little bit but um, you may be able, you should be able to get in there and put the, the shock back on and just tap it and it should pop right back in there. Uh, but let's see how it goes and uh, we'll get this job done. Okay, now as you can see, we, we did spray this up with penetrating oil up here. So we're gonna take out this bolt right here. This nut on the back is a welded nut that's welded to the, uh, the part of the body here. So we're just gonna take it out right here and then we're gonna come down underneath the bottom here and we're gonna do the exact same thing right here. We're gonna take that uh, nut off right there and this bolt stays on here. This does not come out, it stays on part of the suspension here on the, uh, the knuckle. So we're gonna take that off and then we're gonna pry that shock out of the way. As you can see, that shock is dead. You can see the fluid leaking out of it. It's been leaking for a long time. So, uh, all right, let's continue. Wait. I did say 17. Okay, 17 millimeter. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, if you don't have an air gun, you can take it off with a with just a ratchet or a wrench, whatever you have. Uh, the nut itself is a 17 millimeter, and uh, then we'll do the same on the top. The top is also a 17. Oh. Oh. When you shoot that, oh. when you shoot that bolt out, you have to be careful. It's spinning and not twisting oh. and breaking. All right, you see how the suspension dropped down a little bit? So you'll have to uh, most likely push it up slightly to get that new uh, shock back in there. Okay. All right, so now we'll, uh, we'll grab the new shock and put it back in. As you can see, it was leaking. Okay, we'll put the bottom on first. come up top and we'll just slide it back up. Now we may have to lift up on the suspension slightly in order to uh, to get it back up. Just going to put a nut on there temporarily just to hold it. And now we're just going to lift up on the suspension just that little bit to get that bolt in there. As you can see, you can lift it up by hand, but if you can't lift it by hand, you can put a jack under it and jack it up a little bit. Now, when you shoot this in with air, you want to make sure you don't snap it off by accident. So, uh, you know, you've got to be very careful. Now there is torque specs to torque those nuts on, but I, I don't look them up like that. I just tighten them on with the air gun and we're good to go. All right, so top bolt in and tight, bottom bolt in and tight, and that's it, you're all done. All right, as you can see, the, the shocks are actually fairly easy. You just wanna make sure that when you're actually taking those, uh, uh, those nuts off the other 17 millimeters, it's actually rotating and not gonna uh, be rusted into the sleeve. So be careful when you take it off, but you shouldn't have any problem with them. Uh, you can never seize it when you put it back together, makes it go a little bit easier. And of course, now we're going to do the other side and, and you know, you always want to change shocks in sets. All right, as always, thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, you want to talk to me about anything, send me an email. I'll be more than happy to talk to anybody about anything. As always, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.